As you can see, the springs are already out and this allowed for more room to work with. The steering arm is attached at three points. These two nuts are both 17 millimeters. The nut that holds the brake line kept spinning, so I had to remove the rotor. To do that, we had to remove the caliper first. I'm skipping the steps on removing the rotor, but it will be in my other video on how to replace wheel studs. Here I'm holding the bolt on the other side with a 10mm wrench, while undoing the 10mm nut with a socket. This ball joint separator works wonders, and it's simple to use, so if you don't have one, I highly recommend you get one. Remove the OEM steering arm. Slide in the new short steering arm. Here you can see the difference between the Alphaholic's short steering arm and the original steering arm. Put the brake line bracket back in and bolt everything back up. Push the track rod end back into the steering arm. That's all there is to it. I'll have to wait a week or two to take it out for a drive and test out the arms.